Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Turbo, and welcome back for another Turbo Unboxing. Today I have the BAM Box, and this, I believe, is the inaugural Horror BAM Box, or BAM Horror, and this is for the month of September 2017. Um, I believe this is the horror. Um, I thought it was going to be marked horror, but maybe not. Um, I ordered kind of, not at the last minute, but kind of towards the end of the last minute, and so... I think my order got in. Uh, this might be the regular one. I think the regular ones are delayed because the hurricane in Florida and they have been very communicative um, about that, sending emails and posting on Facebook and stuff. So well done on the communication bound box. If you're going to send something late, I mean, it's just nerdy stuff. It's fine to send it late, but you know, if you let people know, um, that gives you a lot of credibility as a company. So well done. And without further ado, I'm going to bust into this. BAM no longer has themes, so they kind of freeze them up to put the best stuff in there that they can find. They, whoop, okay, we're wrapped and we have, okay, and this is the Horror BAM box. We're not going to look at the, the spoiler book yet, but it's there. I'm not even going to look in the box, turn so I can see it, paper, alright, so reaching in the first item. Fan box, we usually get a prop and then like some flat items, maybe a comic book and a pin. So our prop this time is from Fright Night. And this is a wooden cross with the, what looks like, okay, so the cross hangs on the wall. It's a Fright Night cross. It comes with like a glow-in-the-dark uh, rosary. Fright Night, we have a vampire movie, of course. And it's a vampire movie. I saw it was a long, a long time ago, but see the... The horror's not my thing. I wasn't necessarily going to get the horror box, but BAM traditionally has a good relationship with horror people. They've released a lot of other horror stuff in the box before, and so I figured their inaugural horror box that would go all out. And they would put in some cool, <laughs> cool properties and make sure that they blow people away on their first box. So here's a patch from Hollywood Chainsaw Hookers. They charge an arm and a leg. Okay, I have not seen that. That sounds fun. Sounds like kind of a B-horror movie, Hollywood Chainsaw Hookers, which I'm not against. B-horror movies can be a riot, they can be a lot of fun. Um, and uh, there's a lot out there that I like. So reaching in for the next thing. Uh, it's kind of smallish. Looks like a print or an autograph. And this is, okay, so this is a Pennywise print from IT, which just came out, of course. It has a BAM Certificate of Authenticity, and it is signed by... James Busima. Am I familiar with James? The name sounds familiar. Well, let's look in the spoiler book. And this is 601 out of a thousand. So I'm assuming the first I'm assuming the first horror box was uh, a little more limited, although they did sell out. So um but I assume they didn't start huge. There's the pin. We'll do the pin now. Yeah, here it is. That was a fun pins. And this bam horror pin is a Blonde girl in like a school uniform from Night of the Living Dead, it says. Okay. Okay. There it is without the wrapper on. Night of the Living Dead, of course, being classic George Romero uh, horror zombie movie. Totally a zombie movie. Kind of how to define the zombie movie genre. It's been a long time since I've seen it. I have no idea who that character is. Uh, anyway. Uh, well, what's up next? Here, I'm going to just peek in because you only see the back now. And this is the last item, and there's a picture on the back. Oh, <laughs> Frank the Bunny. Awesome. Played by James Duvall and Donnie Darko, of course. And Frank the Bunny being the most interesting and creepy part of Donnie Darko. Which is kind of an interesting and creepy movie. Kind of out there. This is awesome. This is a really cool print. Um, yeah. Nice job, man. Okay. Let's take a moment here and delve into the spoiler book. Okay, the pin. They're coming to get you, Barbara. So this must be Barbara. And we recently lost George Romero. That's right, rest in peace. Um, so, uh, yeah, this is Barbara. They also have limited edition. They're going to get you Barbara pin. And then also this black and white zombie. Uh, there we go. Which looks awesome. That was the super limited edition one. No, 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 it's not a zombie. It's George Romero. Um, looking kind of zombie-esque. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Okay, here we go. 
Okay, so the Donnie Darko print. Um, you had a chance to get a metallic print, so that would have been kind of the one up for this horror box. And that would have been awesome because, like I said, I like this print. And then with the It, they also had a grayscale variant, which was numbered out of 250. So I didn't get any of the upgrades, um, which is cool. That's not that strange. It's always exciting to get one. Um, but, you know, my enjoyment of the box doesn't usually depend on me getting one. It's interesting they've been putting in patches lately. Um, so now you seem to get a prop, a patch, a print, and an autograph, and then the pin. Um, I miss the comics. Uh, hopefully the regular band box is bringing back some comics, but they haven't done that for a while. The idea here is they kind of try to package up a comic con, so you get a print, and a, maybe something you'd have signed at the con by somebody. And they usually do a good job. And I'm not disappointed by this one. I wouldn't say I love it. Like I said, I'm not surprised because I'm not a giant horror fan. But I am a huge Stephen King fan, so the It print is right on. I haven't seen It yet, but I'm gonna. Um, and then the Dark, Donnie Darko, it is, you know, I do like that movie, and I love this Frank print. So, you know what? Hell of a good job, Bam Horror. Um, I'm, I'm in. I knew you'd try to knock it out of the park with this first one. This was a fun box. So, well done. And, um, uh, maybe we'll get the other one. Yeah, I mean, maybe we'll get more. If not, come back. I'll still be getting the regular Bam box. And so come back for that and my other Turbo unboxings in the future. And until then, be excellent to each other.